What up, YouTube, Mugman, Cuphead, and now Miss Chalice Nation. I'm going to show you how to beat every boss in the delicious last course. Let's get started. Moonshine Mob consists of four members. It consists of the spider, the bee-looking girl. I don't know who she is, but she got a dumpy on her. The snail and the anteater. When the spider presses the button, it releases bombs that explode on contact. So if you touch them, they'll explode. When the spider calls, he calls in a bunch of little flies to help him. I don't know why the flies are helping him. You think the flies would be against him, you know, because they kill him. And then he also has the caterpillar attack. That's my least favorite attack. And also these weird cop bugs will come out and shoot little smoke rings at you. You can parry the pink ones. I think this is the most annoying phase. But once you get past this, it's all straightforward from here. Now you're on to the hot babe part. I don't know, I don't know what she is, but yeah, she's got the dumpy on her. You know, and then just dodge these little sound waves. You can use Miss Chalice's dodge roll. I like just running around it to get to the other side. It's super annoying. I don't really like this phase. It's kind of repetitive and boring. But this is why I use the pea shooter so I can shoot at her when she's on the other side. And then watch out. She will move to the other side when she dies. It damages me so many times. And now we're on to the anteater phase. You can damage the still at the beginning. And this is where I prefer crack shot. Honestly, I should have used pea shooter for this part. It made it a lot for made it a lot harder. You know, do not use pea shooter. Use crack shot. You can shoot the nose but he's got that tongue on him that slurps you up it damages you and it's so annoying and those balls that just fly around the screen oh my goodness torture i hate them eventually though it will go down once you do enough damage it's pretty easy once you get it down actually it's just your first time it's a little hard with the tongue bait and everything a lot of tongue action going on here and then the knockout will happen but watch out this is a fake knockout the snail shot me the first time i fell for that hard but this time, I'm a little too quick for him. I get hit, but it's all good. I got two hearts on him. The snail is very easy to beat. Just kind of go back and forth, left to right, and you will get the knockout. And then you get your fruit. You know, for the next part, you get your distillery dough. Not your fruit, my bad, but you do get an ingredient. And now we're on to Esther Winchester. And I love Esther Winchester just because I love the airplane battle. She has a couple attacks, one being the snake oil attack. You can kill the flying horses that shoot little spike balls, but you cannot kill the vulture that drops the TNT. It's kind of annoying. And then she also has the cactus attack. You just drop down below for that attack. And then more snake oil. You just keep shooting your little spread at her. I, I, I really like the Miss Chalice airplane with the spread shot. Her bombs are a little weird. I don't know if I like them. The next phase, Esther Winchester will just start sucking. Sucking in the money. I'll use my bomb right here. I get some invincibility. I'm able to dodge the safes. And then once the safe attack is done, it's on to sucking again. She's going to keep sucking up that money. Sucking, sucking, sucking. That's the only thing she knows. Just keep dodging that. And then eventually, you will turn into the shaboing boing phase. And she will literally die. She puts herself into a blender, blends her up into a bunch of shaboing boings. And now you got to destroy the shaboing boing version of her. You can parry the pink meats, but I don't really like this part. This part's very annoying. It's really fast-paced. Just watch for the helicopters on little little propellers on top of the cans, and that'll show you which way the glizzies or the shaboing boings will be going. Use your EX when you get it. Parry the meat attack. It's very easy to dodge. And then she'll turn to can shaboing boings. And I game so hard on this part. This is first try, guys. I swear. First try, dodge the peppers. Just keep zigzagging in and out of like the the little spaces in between. I go small mode every time, and you can parry the pink peppers. But guys, all you gotta do is game. There's no other secret to this. Just game. Use your EX when you can. Keep going small mode and keep moving. Keep shooting. And eventually, Esther Winchester will go down. And there you go. Now you've been Esther Winchester. Two bosses down. We've acquired the Desert Limes. We're moving on to the Howling Aces. Now, the Howling Aces has about three phases plus a secret phase. I won't show that, though, right now. I'll do that in a separate video. The first phase is really easy. He has three attacks, one being the bone attack. You can oh, He always has one parable bone that you can parry, and then another dog will be throwing tennis balls at you. He has a second attack, the cat attack. You can just duck underneath it. It shoots a bunch of, like, just, you know, yarn balls at you. Very easy to beat. Very easy to go against. Just keep using your spreader. Keep jumping. He'll just use those two attacks. That's about it. And just keep dodging the tennis balls. Keep dodging the bone. Eventually, fire hydrants will show up, but you can just destroy them with your spreader real quick. You know when the phase changes? when his, his airplane gets a little messed up and he goes in for a crash landing and then all his four dogs will hop out. And this phase is so annoying. This is where the secret phase is. I'm not gonna tell you guys how to get it though. I like going to one corner and just using my spreader, dodging the letters. They, they spell out bow wow. You can parry the pink uh, the pink ones. Very easy to parry with your dash parry. And use your EXs when you can. They have very low health. They are very easy to kill, but it is very annoying managing those letters. Watch out for those. 
And now we're on to the next phase. And I just want to take a second to appreciate how well this is animated. I, I cannot get over how well this, this phase is animated. It's amazing. She flips you this way, and I like turning my head for this phase. I'm not kidding. It helps. The yellows will go high, the reds will go low. Trust me, turn your head for this phase. It helps. Upside down, it's not too bad. Just keep dodging the lasers. You can parry the pink laser, but I have Miss Chow's parry, so I'm not. And then again, turn your head. Yellows are high, reds are low. Just keep using your spreader. I take some damage, but it's all good. One HP in a dream. We get the knockout three bosses down. We've achieved the pineapple mint, and now we're on to my favorite, Mr. Freeze, or AKA the Ice King. I call him the Ice King because I mean, Come on, look at him. He has to remind you of the Ice King. This stage isn't too bad. He has about three attacks. The little minion attack, he just summons four little minions that run around. They're very easy just to kill. He has the crystal ball attack. He'll, he'll look into the crystal ball and shoot some cards at you. You can parry the pink one. He also has the giant fish attack. He just slaps you on the ground with a giant fish. Nothing too weird about it. I don't know. I just keep using my spread and keep jumping. The second phase, he will turn into this weird, like, I don't know what, I don't know what do you call it, this snowman, and he'll turn into a freezer that shoots ice cubes at you. The big ice cubes will split into two different ones. They're very easy to dodge. You can also dodge the popsicle. They're super annoying. Good luck with those. I, I, I hate those things so much. And then now we're on to the next phase, the final phase. I like this phase a lot. This is my favorite final phase. Just use your pea shooter when you're far away and then wait to get a close to your spreader. He has three attacks, one being like, he just shoots four ice cream cones at you. This one shoots three buckets and they explode when they hit the back. You can carry the pink one. And the third attack is the eyeball attack. He squeezes out his eyeball at you. You can use your dodge roll for this, but I kind I just stand there and I get really lucky and I don't have to. And then the Ice King will go down. There you go. Four bosses down. We have our Ice Sugar Cubes. And now we're on to, I think, the easiest boss, Glumstone the Giant. This guy is super easy. You said there's a few things you have to look out for. See on the platforms. Watch out for the gnomes with the hammers. Watch out for the geese crossing attack. Watch out for the gnomes on the bottom spawning. They will shoot little gold nuggets at you. And don't slip on the floor. There's little gnomes on the floor too. Another attack is like the potion attack. But as you can see, I get through that really quick. Just use your spreader. And now, this part's really easy. I'm dumb. I started shooting his arm. You don't have to shoot his arm. Make sure you aim for the puppets and watch out for the little guys doing the acrobatics. Okay, they're really easy to dodge. The bag attack is really easy to dodge. Every attack in this stage is extremely slow. In my opinion, it's super easy just to dodge roll anything and everything. Okay, you can parry the pink one, but just keep using your spreader and eventually he will go down. And now we're on to the final phase. And this one's not too hard. He'll swallow you whole and you go into his stomach lining. I don't know what this thing is. Is it an ulcer or something? I'm not sure. Just keep using your spreader. Keep using your pea shooter EXs. Parry the cowbell ASAP because you're going to want that platform and it will reset all your platforms. The bone will cause the cowbell to come out. The chicken bones will cause the platforms to fall. And these little these little birds will come through the gnome shoot them. You can parry the pink bird, but just parry the bone, parry the cowbell every time. And honestly, you will be fine. As soon as I figured out how to parry that cowbell, it was all uphill from there. I beat it so quickly. And then it'll go down. And now, guys, have defeated all the bosses. We have our gnome berries, and now we're on to the final boss. Now, honestly, spoilers, this was a pretty big twist. You go into Salt Bakers, I'm like, oh, cool, I have all the ingredients. Time to make the Wonder Tart. Nah, trap door open. You walk up, and he's just looking extremely evil. You know you're in for a bad time when this happens. I can't believe I gotta fight my boy, the Salt Baker. He says, welcome back, you meddlesome brats. And then it turns out he need a living soul for the Wonder Tart, and you have to save Mugman, because Mugman's the best character in the game. I cannot believe the salt chef double cross you or the salt baker. My apologies, but let's get started now. This is the hardest boss fight in all of Cuphead, in my opinion. It's so brutal. He kills everything. He kills all the ingredients you collected. He destroys the sugar cube. He kills the dough. Dude, I can't bear to watch. Everybody just dies and he uses these, these, these ingredients. He's, and he chops with the limes. He uses these live ingredients to kill you. And basically there's just a bunch of flying body parts flying at you. It, it's disgusting. It's despicable. We have to take Salt Baker out. There goes the strawberries. He runs away crying. I mean, honestly, that was probably the most, like, tame of all. At least, he, at least he didn't die. He didn't get diced up like the limes just did. But it's all good. The limes will swing around to you. The, the, I, the sugar cubes will just kind of fly at you. 
And then the animal crackers just jump. You can pair the pink ones. The phase shift comes and he eats something. I'm not sure what it is, but this part's very easy. I would recommend the crack shot for this part. I use the spreader and the pea shooter though. And I think this went pretty well. I use my EXs to shoot all the peppers and the peppers just kind of fly at him. I don't know why now that I think about it. I think, yeah, I don't know why they fly at him. They just kind of do. You just kind of destroy the pepper shaker. Then eventually they will fly and just smack Salt Baker in the face. Watch out for the little projectiles they shoot. Watch out for the mint leaves he tosses up in the air. And watch out for the fire guy. He is super annoying. I hate that fire guy, but eventually he will go down. And now we're on to another phase. And this phase, I don't I don't really get this phase. It seems kind of useless. I get hit by that thing. I collect myself and I get started. One HP in a dream, baby. You see Mugman in the back crying for help. This phase is super easy with the crack shot. I honestly, I, I was just using the crack shot for this boss and many other bosses. I used the pea shooter because I just didn't have the coins for it. And I didn't test out the weapons before I did this run. My apologies. But honestly, this phase is so, so easy. I'm gonna do stay away from him. And then eventually it will go into the next and the final phase. Just keep jumping on those platforms. This phase is actually super easy with the crack shot, with spread with any weapon. All you have to do is pair the heart. And every time you parry the heart, you actually get an EX card, which is actually which is OP. You get so many EXs for this level. Just keep parrying the heart. Stay on the platform, especially with Miss Chalice's dash parry. It's not that hard. Just keep doing your thing. Use whatever weapons you like. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun. This DLC actually blew me away. I give it a 10 out of 10. Probably the best bang for your buck. $8.00. Everything's hand-drawn, every boss is challenging, and there's so much gameplay in all. And there's plenty of stuff I didn't even cover in this video. So go out there, go buy the Cuphead DLC, and once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube, guys. I love you all. Goodbye, everybody.